In this video, I'm going to show you three different Logic Pro sessions running in the new M2 Pro Mac Mini. The first one is the Logic Pro benchmark test, the second one is a real mixing session, and the third one is a real mixing session but with virtual instruments. So let's see how it performs. Okay, with the Logic Pro benchmark test, which you can download to test it on your own Mac, link in the description, the maximum amount of tracks that the M2 Pro can handle is 134. Now let it run for 10 minutes straight. The buffer size was 1024 and the processing threads were at the highest performance. Now, just so you have a comparison, I made the same test on my Mac Mini M1 with 8 gigs of RAM and it couldn't pass the 85 tracks. Okay, so here's a real mixing session here. So let me show you the settings of the session. So it's running at 1024 buffer size and the processing threads are the highest. And this session is at 44.1 kilohertz. Now there's uh, 69, 60, 69 other tracks and in terms of plugins, well, there's more than 20 SSL EV2 channel strips, uh, almost the same amount of CLA76, a bunch of uh, Slate Digital plugins, a few Fab Filter plugins, there's the Verb Suite Reverb, Repeater Delay, and that's uh, about it. Oh, and there's the AMAC EQ too. So uh, let's see the performance meter. So uh, it looks like the, most of the cores are at about 50% and there's one that is about 75%. But everything is really snappy, really fast, all the plugins. And to be honest, I was expecting to see less processing here in the performance meter. Uh, but it looks like, well, it's about 50%, so I guess it's okay. But now let's change here the, some settings. And let's try with 32 samples and the processing threads in automatic mode. Okay, let's see now. So I think there was an increase of like 10% if so and everything still really fast and really snappy so you know what I think this is pretty spectacular because this is a whole an entire mixing session running at 32 samples uh, like and there's no problem whatsoever uh, everything is really fast really responsive and if I show you the activity monitor it's not even sweating So yeah, great machine. Let's go to the next test. Okay, this is a session with a few virtual instruments and let me show you what is happening here. And so there's eight instances of Archetype Nolly. There's a contact library, there's a sampler, there's the GGD drums. And on top of that, there's plugins. Now this is not a big session, uh, but this is kind of the session of pop rock music, rock music, metal music. I know a lot of people are using Omnisphere, Spitfire libraries and whatnot. But I don't have those, so that's what I have here. And so let's check the performance meter. So most of the cores are probably around 30% I think and what I didn't show yet is that this session is running at 32 samples buffer size which is pretty ridiculous.
So if anything, it just goes to show you that there's a lot of room for more audio tracks with more visual instruments. Okay, so my thoughts on this. Well, since the release of the first Mac Mini M1, we saw a jump in performance on the Mac Minis that we never thought that it would be possible. And I'm comparing it with the Intel versions, of course. And now with the M2 Pro, the amount of performance that we can buy at this price is just ridiculous. So if you've been looking at this computer for your music productions, uh, think no further because just jump at it. And that's it for today's video. I hope to see you in the next one. Until there, take care.